We're back now with a health alert. More Americans across the country are struggling to find physicians. In fact, one estimate projects a shortage of up to 48,000 primary care doctors in the U.S. by 2034. And Thompson now on what's driving it. I'll see you in a little bit. Dr. Terry Vester, 68 years old, is still working as a primary care physician in rural Lafayette, Alabama, the only one within a 30-minute drive. There have been doctors that come through here, but they don't stay. In New York City, where there are four times as many doctors as the entire state of Alabama, Olga Torres lost her primary care physician to concierge medicine two years ago. I could go see him at this concierge practice for $10,000 a year. Have you been looking for a primary care physician? I have. And have you found one? I have not. Unable to find one taking new patients, today Torres says her cardiologist fills that role. This is not what she should be doing. Across America, primary care doctors are increasingly hard to find. My own parents had the same issue in Jacksonville, Florida. With Dr. Jesse Ehrenfeld leads the American why Medical are, Association. Why is that shortage so acute today? Well, the, the problem is the number of physicians in the U.S. is growing. It's just not growing fast enough. The AMA says it takes 10 years to educate and train a physician while the population grows and ages. We know that health outcomes are worse when people don't have access to primary care. They live shorter lives and they live sicker lives. The AMA says more federal funding is needed to increase training slots. The average $200,000 in medical school debt must be eased and physician burnout addressed. Until replacements arrive, Dr. Vester and her internist husband vow to keep working. They will come, but we're going to be here until then. We'll just have to go to the gym and exercise a little bit. <laughs> to keep America in good health. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.